At PRI last year, we introduced the new 2015 Mustang, and no surprise in the Ferreira booth this year. I'm here with Zeke, and you guys have some new valve train components for that vehicle. Zeke, what have you got on tap for us? Right, we're uh, we're starting off the valve train components, which we we actually have done the valve train components for the V8 uh, engine. The new up and coming engine now for Ford is the uh, Ford EcoBoost 2.3 liter four cylinder engine. We've just come out with valve train components for that engine, single spring type setup, titanium retainers, valves. We're going to be coming out with two different series valves, a 6,000 series type valve, and also a competition plus type series valve. Very cool. Now, you're still in the early stages of this, but what are some of the uh, the applications as far as uh, who are you hearing from? Who needs these things? Well, we're, we're looking at the street performance uh, type market, which is going to be the larger market that we're going to really tackle. And then obviously the engine is going to be falling into a lot of the drag racing and road racing, rally type racing market. What we like about this engine platform, the four-cylinder, it's a worldwide engine. Uh, the Mustang's now being sold in Europe directly, so we feel that this engine's gonna be the, the, the big, big uh, engine for Ford uh, as a four-cylinder. Well, let's talk about some of the innovation that's allowed you guys to do that and to pull these numbers from that little motor. You're standing in front of a cool little uh, 3D printed toy in the background. Yeah, 3D printing for us is, is something that we've come about this year. Uh, we've been doing a lot of prototype pieces with the 3D printers for our customers. 3D printing is, is something where we feel time in, in basically making that prototype piece and getting it in the hands of the customer is something that we felt that it was, it was very time sensitive. So what kind of time is the, the new prototyping process saving you? So basically we can throw up our different design retainers especially that we've been doing a lot more this year. Uh, with the 3D printers, we can throw up a, a design within a half hour, put it up on into SolidWorks, put it into the MakerBot, have it done that day for the customer, ship it out that day, he can have it in his hands by the following business day. So the prototype you're standing in front of now is a new rocker you're working on for the 4.6 motor? The 4.6 motor for us, the modular engine, has continuing to grow in the valve train section, especially with the springs, retainers, and valves. We're now going to get involved in doing rockers for those engines. We're currently in development right now. Uh, we've just done the 3D printer, um, a full, full development on it, and now we're going to get into testing with that rocker. Well, it's definitely cool to see that production pipeline getting shorter and shorter, new parts coming to market faster and faster. Where can we go to get more info? You can go to www.ferea.com uh, for any further info. All right, we'll definitely check it out. You heard it here on Power Auto Media at PRI 2014.